Hey guys, it's Victoria and I'm so happy you had time for a TCA minute. Today I am again working with our laser TCA intern Alec as he interviews Henry Ramos to find out more answers to the questions of what services and solutions Lenovo offers. Today's conversation is going to center around an overview of our autopilot service and is going to be paired actually with two additional videos that show autopilot from the end user's perspective and autopilot from the management perspective. So I hope you guys enjoy and definitely take a minute to check out those other videos. So um, as someone new at Lenovo, I've been hearing a lot about autopilot. I'd love to learn uh, more about why autopilot. Sure, Alec. Why autopilot is being driven by a couple of things. Many IT customers are looking for a more efficient type of deployment or a modern IT. Other than that, it's also very important to have a high end user satisfaction. We want to make sure that when end users get their machine for the first time, they're not fumbling around with the box. IT pros have a lot to do, and there's seldom time to focus on the bigger picture. Even with all that effort, employees are often unhappy with the experience. It just takes too long. They want their new device to work right out of the box. Supporting remote users is not easy. More than just frustrating, all of this lost IT and end user productivity can become expensive. But Windows Autopilot can make it more productive and get users back to work quickly providing a low-touch streamlined experience. It's flexible, so you can choose a deployment scenario that suits your business needs. For example, a user-driven autopilot deployment is driven by employees wherever they are. So what is needed for autopilot? They will need an Azure infrastructure. They will need to be on Windows 10, and they will need a mobile device manager such as Intune. Companies that haven't fully transitioned to the cloud can use a hybrid Azure AD join autopilot deployment. For that, they will need an Azure environment, Microsoft Intune, an Intune connector installed, and the ability for autopilot devices to connect to the domain controller. So I was wondering, how do these machines ultimately end up getting to the end user? They can get there in multiple ways. They can go directly through their IT department or we can directly ship them for manufacturing or distribution. That's called a white glove deployment. A white glove deployment provides a better experience for employees because it allows Lenovo or the partner to pre-provision the autopilot device before the users get to them. So the user doesn't have to wait for apps to download, updates, or security settings. Once configured, we'll ship it directly to them and they'll be ready to go as soon as they get them so they can continue to start working right away. Once they get their new ThinkPad, they will log in and go. Users will connect to the internet and answer a couple of quick questions. Then, Autopilot automatically starts, installs applications and settings and security policies, and the device will be ready to go in just minutes. Windows Autopilot enables it to deliver ready-to-go devices directly to the users. It frees up IT time and improves employee satisfaction. Our next videos will go into a little more depth with the admin console and the actual end user experience. Back to you, Victoria. Thank you so much, guys, and I can't wait to see the two other videos in this series. I hope you guys have an amazing day, and I'll see you in the next one.